We can all imagine how stressful it would be to evacuate from a large building. But imagine how stressful it would be if the building's backup lighting failed and the evacuation took place in darkness. That's what happened during the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. When the bombs detonated, they destroyed the building's backup generators, leaving thousands of evacuees to stumble their way to safety while fearing for their lives. Following the World Trade Center's lighting failure, cities and states across the U.S. enacted new safety measures for exit enclosures. Today, high-rises that contain occupied floors above 75 feet from the lowest level of fire department vehicle access practice these measures according to the International Building Code and the International Fire Code's egress marking guidelines. The International Building Code regulates new construction and is practiced by all 50 states. The International Fire Code regulates both new and existing construction, but is practiced by only 42 states, leaving a large number of buildings that still rely on old egress safety measures. If you own a building in a state that hasn't adopted a version of the International Fire Code, implementing its measures is still very critical for the safety of your building occupants in the event of an evacuation. Regardless of whether a high-rise contains emergency backup lighting, the International Building Code and the International Fire Code require the application of luminous egress markings to steps, landings, and handrails within exit enclosures. For steps, a continuous one to two inch wide stripe should be placed at the horizontal leading edge of each step. For landings, the leading edge of each landing should be marked with a stripe of the same dimensions as for the steps. For handrails, a continuous stripe not less than one inch wide should be placed on the top surface of the handrail and extend its length. Implementing egress path markings according to the International Building Code and the International Fire Code is neither difficult nor expensive. The only requirements are the purchase of photoluminescent components and their application according to the code's guidelines. Chances are that your building won't experience a low visibility evacuation, but if it does, Having its stairwells equipped with luminous egress markings could mean the difference between a smooth evacuation and one that results in casualties.